Welcome everyone. You know, they say two heads are better than one. And I always say here on the show that I love to see collaborations in our community. It always results in a broader reach and really a bigger helping hand. That is why we're about to learn about the partnership between Keller Williams Southern Arizona and Primavera Foundation from Joy Berry and Eric Cross. You guys, thank you so much for coming in. Thank it's you. Wonderful Tina. to be here. Uh, I know we have something pretty awesome uh, waiting for us in just a few moments. But first, Eric, let's start out by kind of learning a little bit about the foundation. Primavera Foundation is a Tucson area 501c3, and for the past 35 years, has provided pathways out of poverty through services that address the range from homelessness to home ownership. The services are provided on a continuum: survival stability, security, and self-sustainability. In other words, from homelessness and poverty to home ownership and self-sustainability. And in order for you to do this great work, how are you funded? Uh, Primavera does receive federal, state, and local funding, but we rely greatly on private donations, volunteers, community partners, and faith-based organization in order to provide the services along that continuum. And great partnerships is, is one of those, of course, that we're going to talk about. And, you know, Joey, we think Keller Williams, we think, of course, you guys are a, a full-service real estate company. How does that kind of go from there into fundraising? Well, <laughs> that's a great question. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Keller Williams Realty International, which is headquartered in Austin, Texas, um, introduced Red Day in 2009. And RED stands for Renew, Energize, and Donate. And that was an, it's created as an annual day of service where uh, all of the offices in North America, United States and Canada, uh, shut their offices for one day to give back to their communities. Mm -hmm. uh, put our jeans on, get our cowboy hats on, keep the sun off, yeah. and get dirty helping communities. 2017, Primavera Foundation was our community partner and our charity of choice. So on Red Day, which is the second day in May, uh, the offices were closed and the owners and agents and staff of Keller Williams were at Primavera Foundation on site to do repairs, um, needed services, whatever Primavera needed us to do, we were there to help on that one day. And then our culture committees also donated or committed to um, all of the funds that are raised from our second annual golf tournament in November to go to Primavera. And I know we're going to have a little bit more on that golf tournament that you just mentioned again in just a few moments. But Eric, how does that, you know, make Primavera feel when we have like a partnership like this? Well, Keller Williams has been a wonderful community partner. And of course, we know Keller Williams, you guys are, you know, you're talking about going back and doing local things. This may, you know, feels good to know you guys help us, of course, with our real estate needs, but also doing something to well, help us. They have uh, provided a wide variety of initiatives uh, that include serving meal teams, mm -hmm. organizing volunteers for activities at Primavera's Homelessness Intervention and Prevention Program, and at La Capilla Community Garden. They also hosted a golf tournament at Arizona National Golf Club, as well as hosting a New Year's Eve benefit event at General Ben's. And I had the privilege of playing the golf tournament, and I was at the New Year's Eve event. It was wonderful. And I know uh, we're, we're hearing about, you know, the collaboration and everything, but I always love to hear about some success stories, about what you do and how that really touched someone. Does something kind of stick out for you? Oh, there are many yeah. uh, success stories, but today I'll tell you about a woman named Alexa. She's a single mother with a daughter. She was married at age 18, but then divorced at age 21. And then she had to drop out of college after that and then became homeless. Well, she entered Primavera's Her Family Program for financial empowerment skills for single mothers and their daughters. Then she entered the Primavera's Home Ownership Program and uh, was on the, in the process of saving money over five years in order uh, to be able to be a homeowner. But to her credit, she did it in two years and then uh, qualified to be a first time homeowner. And today she owns her own home 
with her daughter. She has a stable job, uh, and it has benefits as well. And through this process, she's been able to teach her daughter about strength, resiliency, and sustainability. And that's a great thing to teach your daughter. Well, we want to hear more of these success stories. In order to do that, we love to see these uh, mon you know, monies being raised. Joy, how did that uh, golf tournament go that you guys did? November, right? It was. It was <clears throat> the middle of November. Uh, it was our second annual. And in comparison, our first annual golf tournament in 2016 raised a little over $6,000 and we were really happy for that. Um, our second annual uh, event um, goal was to raise $8,000 for the Primavera Foundation. And then with all the natural disasters that were mm -hmm. happening um, uh, around the country last fall, um, we came back to our culture committees and they committed to raising an additional $1,000 uh, to go to KW Cares mm -hmm. Hurricane Relief, which is a 501c3 now. Um, and inside and, and separate from the golf tournament. And so uh, with, with all of that and all of the support that we received, I'm really happy to say that we um, achieved and overachieved in our goal, if you will. Uh, we were able to do the $1,000 to KW, KW Cares Hurricane Relief and uh, we're honored that we can present um, the Primavera Foundation with a check for $10,000. Oh, what, my goodness. $10, exceeded, exceeded the check amount here at the last minute by a, a separate donation and made it up to $10,000. Well, so we, we are to honored to be able to do that for for Primavera Foundation and, fantastic. and our community. Well, this is fabulous. I'm so happy you had a goal, you exceeded it, and what a great way to, uh, to go beyond that and to help Primavera. Uh, thank you to Keller Williams. Thank you for uh, teaching us a little bit more about Primavera today, you guys, and thank you for coming in. It was wonderful being here. Thank now, you. Support the Primavera Foundation anytime by giving or volunteering today. To learn more, log on to primavera.org or call 520-882-5383.